Meet Noelle. She's lived in Springfield, Ohio for the last 45 years with her now elderly husband. Take a listen as she describes life in her neighborhood under the Biden-Harris administration's border invasion. Then we'll talk about it. I'm done with what I'm seeing. It is so unsafe in my neighborhood anymore. I have the homeless that were trying to camp out and I have, I have made concessions with them and I try to help them the best I can to keep them from trying to squat on my property. But it is so unsafe. I have men that cannot speak English in my front yard screaming at me, throwing mattresses in my front yard, throwing trash in my front yard. And I can't, I look at me, I weigh 95 pounds. I couldn't defend myself if I had to. My husband is elderly. And last night after living in this home for 45 years, he said, Noel, guess what? It's time to pack up and move. He said, we can't do this anymore. He said, it's killing both of us mentally. I don't understand what you expect of us as citizens. I mean, I understand they're here under temporary protected status and you're protecting them. And I understand that our city services are overwhelmed and understaffed, but who's protecting us? If we're protecting them, who's protecting me? I want out of this town. I am sorry. Please give me a reason to stay. Thank you. Thank you. So let me get this straight. The police and the city aren't doing anything to protect these people. People that have lived in this city for 45 plus years, terrified with no other choice but to flee their home. And this woman's begging for help. She wants to stay. She loves Springfield, Ohio, but the city doesn't love her back. In fact, they're putting people that have broken the law while crossing our southern border ahead of law-abiding citizens. Let me know what you think in the comments.